The next part of our shooting breakdown is having a balanced base when you shoot the ball. So that's with your feet parallel with a wide base from the start of your shooting motion to when you stick the landing after the ball is released. This is arguably the number one determinant of makes and misses is having a balanced base when you shoot the ball. Because you want to have that wide base when you go through your shooting motion and then when you release the ball you want to stick that landing with a wide base. So you want to jump off both feet evenly. So you can see in this example right here, Clay has a wide base. You want to jump off your right and your left foot evenly. So there's balance throughout your shooting motion. So when you go off the balls of your feet to shoot the ball. So watch Clay right here. Watch how his motion in his feet right here goes from his heels to the balls of his feet. And then he jumps and when he jumps, he jumps off evenly off both feet. And then he sticks the landing with that wide base. Even shooting on the move right here. You can see he's jumping evenly off the balls of his feet. And then he sticks that wide base landing. Here's a great example right here of Dame shooting from distance. So he is shooting from 35 feet right here. On a dribble pickup, watch how he lands wide when he shoots it to keep that balance. And when you jump off both feet evenly, that can help eliminate the hip sway. So right here, you can watch Clay go up and shoot. His hips do not sway. He keeps that vertical body position. Because when your hips stay square, that's where the ball is going to go. If your hips sway either way, that can create the ball going right and left when you miss. And one of the keys you want to think is the more you twist when you shoot, the more you're going to miss. So right here, Brad Beal goes up and just watch his hips. His right hip stays straight the whole time when he shoots and he sticks that landing. Watch right here, his hips stay square and he sticks that landing. His right foot goes slightly forward, but he's going vertical. He finishes forward. Here's another great example. Watch how he catches the ball. He has a wide base right there. He's going to go through his shooting motion. His hips stay square, and he's going to land with a wide base right there with his hips square. Another example right there. He's going into his shooting motion. You can watch the energy go from his heels to the balls of his feet. When he releases the ball, he has a wide base. He's going to land forward and sticks his landing right there. Duncan Robinson flying off a DHO. Watch how he has a wide base. His right foot is slightly forward, which is fine. He goes into his shooting motion. You can see he's jumping every time he shoots the ball. He releases the ball on the way up and he sticks that landing. The next part with your balance base is allowing your shoulders to finish forward to eliminate that recline when you shoot the ball so you don't fade. This is different than shooting a fadeaway. So right here, watch JJ step into this transition three. Watch his shoulders finish forward. So he's going slightly forward when he shoots the ball, but that eliminates any backwards motion in his shoulders. And he lands with that wide base. Here's another great example right here. You can see his feet are parallel when he goes and shoots. He goes off the balls of his feet right here. As you can see, he's going through his shooting motion right here. He's going to land wide too, but he finishes forward. Here's Duncan Robinson coming off a DHO. Watch how he finishes forward when he shoots right there. He has that slight lean forward to take away any recline when he shoots the ball. You want to stick the landing. So you want both feet to land at the same time when you shoot the ball. So your shot is not thrown off by landing on one foot before the other. That can allow your hips to sway or that can allow you to land backwards or with your feet narrow, which will affect your shot. Here's a great example. Watch how quickly Clay has to get this shot off and watch his balance. He has a wide base right here. He shoots it quick, but he lands evenly, and he lands with a wide base. 
a pump fake side step. Watch how his feet are balanced right here. And he goes through his shooting motion. D Booker right there. You can see he has a wide base right here when he shoots it. And he's going to land with that wide base and he sticks his landing. Now, when Kyle Korver goes into a shooting motion right here, his right hip is going to be aligned slightly forward, but he's going to land with his right hip slightly forward, which allows him to stick his landing. So his hips do not sway when he shoots. Here's a great example. You can see his right hip is slightly forward, but he's going to land in that same motion with that same base as when he started his shot. A deep three right here, you can see a wide base, which allows you to have more power when you shoot the ball with that wide base. If you have a narrow base, that's gonna take away your power through your shooting motion. 